Hi everyone, I'm FM Greeno. Welcome along to episode 23 of the Greeno Tour. This is my FM21 European Journeyman save. Now the seventh episode here at Budapest Honved. Let's go and see how the season has been starting. So I guess the obvious place to start is with the schedule. Today, as you can see on the right hand side, we're going to be taking on city rivals Ferenc Varosh, who have had a very good start to the season. Uh, we were last together for the Dios Beer game. Uh, we beat them 3-1 in our opening game of the season. Followed that up by beating Baitar Jerusalem over two legs in the Conference League, which was a good result. Sandwiched in between that, we beat the, the team from Zala Egeshek, ZTE. Pushkash Academia went up there and won 3-2, so everything was looking rosy. Then it started to take a little bit of a turn for the worse. Sparta Prague were our next opponents in the final qualifier to get into the Europa Conference League group stages, and they battered us. Beat us 6-1 on aggregate, and it could have been worse, to be honest. They're a really strong side. Game in between those two legs was against Budafok away, who are probably the weakest team in the league. I completely rotated the squad, probably maybe nine changes, um, and we just couldn't get the breakthrough. We had Sankovic sent off with quarter of an hour to go. Could only come away with a nil-nil. Drew with MTK, one apiece, but then got back on track with a good 4-0 win against Oipest. Epo with a couple. The game against Lipot in the cup, again, a lot of rotation. Came away with a 2-1 win, but it wasn't really that convincing. And since then. Yeah, we've been struggling again a little bit. Went to Fehavar, who were obviously a good strong side, and they beat us 3-0. Again, possibly could have been worse. And then we played Mezekabejt at home, who are a decent team. They're sat in third currently, I think, and drew 0-0 with them. So if we look at what that means overall, we sit in fourth place with 15 points from our eight games. Today's opponent's Ferenc Verosh with 19 points after eight games. So we're four points behind. I think one of the reasons for Ensvarosh have had such a good start to the season, look at how much money they spent over the summer. Just over £9 million. And they've brought in some really good quality as well. So Rodrigo Vilka, uh, South American player, is coming from Newcastle for just over £3 million. Really strong player for this level anyway. Uh, Japanese international centre-half, Ko Itakura, coming from Brentford. Uh, Samuel Mayor is a good Hungarian talent. They've picked him up from Germany. Uh, Mladenovic, good strong left back, a little bit old, but doing all right. They've got a lo Loney in from Bournemouth, a Macedonian right back. So you can see the quality they've brought in over the summer is really good. And if we compare that to what we've been able to do, well, since we were together last, I've only got two players in on free transfers. Oliver Rathbone, take a look at him. He has come in from Rochdale. <laughs> So not exactly the sort of top quality player we were hoping for. He looks all right. He'll be a decent enough rotation option in midfield. And we managed to pick up Sam Byram as well. A 30-year-old right back. Can play left back at a push. Decent career he's had. Obviously Leeds, West Ham, Forest, Norwich. He's played a number of games at a decent level. Um, and he's now come over to play in Hungary. But not quite as good as the lads for Entrosha brought in, are they? Neither Rathbone nor Byram can uh, be registered at the moment due to Hungarian league rules. I can only register them after the 9th of November, I think. So it's pretty much a similar lineup to what we saw in the first game. Uh, Changi, Hulak, Pogliano, Mezgrani at the back. Ashvani in goal, of course. Hema has made that deep line playmaker role his own in the last few weeks. Radetzky and Lagator playing alongside them today. Gazdag is carrying a bit of a knock so he's fit enough to be on the bench i think but he can't really start babati and kd kd switching over to the left today and molnar up top uh, we do have the option of epel on the bench if we want to go to a 4-4-2 i think him and uh, molnar can work together in, in that sort of situation and then we go to a two-man midfield anyway let's head off to ferenc Varosh, see how we get on So as you can see here, I have had to make one change to the lineup. Barat has come in at the back. I noticed Hulak was uh, really struggling for 
fitness just before I clicked on the, uh, the start screen. So made that change quickly and Barat is a very able replacement to come in at the back. So we're in a little huddle. Decent crowd in at Ferencvaros today. I imagine we've sold our full allocation. We'll probably get two or 3,000 tickets, I would guess. So, early opportunity here for Ferenc Varosh. Oh, and they nearly take it. A good corner in there from Rodrigo Vilka. And Norbert Balog gets up at the back post with a header. ex Honved player, of course. Fairly even start to the game. We're having a lot of possession. Can we do anything with it? Yes, we can. We've taken the lead. Mateusz Radetzky. If you remember, last season we actually came here and won 5 0. Now, I'm definitely not expecting that to happen today. Um, I think Fenin Svarosh look a much, much better outfit this season than they did last year. Uh, they definitely spent a lot of money and improved their squad over the summer. So this will definitely be a much tighter affair than that was, but very, very happy to have taken the lead. So we've got up about halfway through the first half now. Still 1-0 up. Opportunity here starts with Ferenc Varosh on the ball, though, over on the far side. Making their way up towards the final third. Here's Balog out on the right. Will he get a crossover? No, he brings it back to Udzuni, and there's a goal for Ferenc Varosh. Rego Santo at the back post. Very nice cross that was. We'll take another look at this. Balog made the space for the cross. Could have, could have got one in himself there, I guess, but that's a good cross suspicions of offside there I'd have thought but obviously not given so that brings it back level with half an hour gone still pretty even corner for us here Babati gets the ball in Molnar oh good save by Klaus in goal for uh, for Ferenc Varos uh, you can see behind the goal there we have brought a very very healthy contingent of fans which is good uh oh this looks dangerous. Balog again out on the right. Gets a ball in. Oh, Bolly scores. Goodness me. We are throwing this away. We're set up fairly cautiously today. Uh, I've dropped us back to a cautious mentality from the balanced one we've been playing recently. Just to try and make us a bit more solid. But that wasn't solid there at all, was it? Goodness. Okay. So... 2-1 down, 10 minutes till half time. If we can see this out through to half time, we'll uh, get a little flea in the ear of the guys. Not much happening in these last few minutes of the half by the looks of it. Vilka looks very, very tired for them, so hopefully we won't be seeing him in the second half, or not for much of it anyway. So there it is, we have reached half time, it is 2-1. So let's get into the dressing room. Mm. Some players are focused, some are anxious, aggressive. How on earth do you give a team talk to people with that kind of mixed personality? So what are we going to say to them? Hands in pockets, so it's very non-committal either way. And I think maybe we'll say, make up for it in the second half. Defenders, more to come from you, and I believe you've got what it takes. Let's tell them all that, shall we? There we go. And we'll get out for the second half now, and hopefully... A little bit of a boost in confidence will stand our boys in good stead. The early part of the half, not much going on by the looks of it. Now, a little bit disappointed that we couldn't get any more decent signings in over the summer. Um, all the players that could improve the squad, we just couldn't afford. Uh, people wanting silly money on wages, sort of 10, 12 grand a week, which we just can't. Can't consider paying. Uh, we've got a, a budget of around £80,000 a week for the whole squad. So anybody wanting more than about five grand a week pretty much rules themselves out. And there just wasn't enough quality in any of those other players. Have we got a penalty there? I think we have. Who's going to take this? Babati. Okay. Oh, it's saved. Oh, that's disappointing. We had such a good record with penalties last season. And unfortunately, not today. Right, time to make a couple of changes. I'll be back in a moment. 
So we have made a couple of changes. We've brought Chama down on the left-hand side, and we've brought Epel on to play up front with Molnar. So we're going to go attacking now for the last 10 minutes. We've asked the boys to play a bit more directly. Doesn't seem to be making an awful lot of difference. Very, very even stats in terms of the XG and shots and the like, but it just doesn't seem to be happening today, does it? So just a couple of minutes left. Are we even going to see a highlight after all those changes I made? No, we're not. Oh, dear. In a very even game, we go down 2-1. Well, that narrow defeat hasn't actually hurt us too much in terms of our position in the league table. We still sit in fourth. But obviously, Dioskia and Kishvara have caught up on us a little bit. And we're now seven points behind Ferenc Varosh at the top of the table. So, work to be done. Looking at the schedule, we've got quite a lot of games coming up thick and fast throughout November into December. Obviously, we have a winter break that comes then. So, I guess what we might do is just come back for one of these games just before the end of the winter break. We'll have the two new signings. Uh, available in the squad by then um so yeah the, the oipesh away game maybe the very last game before we break up for uh for the winter break might be the one to come back for well i hope you enjoyed today's episode a little bit disappointing result but the performance was okay i think if you did enjoy it please drop a like on there for me and if you've got any comments about this episode or the series as a whole so far i would love to see them below and of course don't forget to subscribe uh, there's plenty of room on the green o bus for all of you well, it just remains for me to thank you for watching, and I will see you soon for some more action here with Honved. Bye for now.